behold, the Lamb of God has taken away the sins of the world. I bring you good news, people. You don't have to die in your sins and go to hell. And many of you are on your way to hell, but I bring you good news. You don't have to go to hell. You don't have to be strung out on drugs. You don't have to be addicted to pornography. You don't have to be on crack cocaine. You don't have to cheat on your wife. You don't have to be a slut or a prostitute. Jesus Christ came into the world to deliver us from the power of darkness. We all have sinned and came short of God's glory. But I bring you good news. For God so loved the world. You and I, sinners, while we were dirty, low down, rotten, stinking sinners, Jesus Christ took our sins in his own body on a cross, and he cried on that cross, Father, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. Listen, people, you have been guilty of sinning against the Holy God. He commands you to repent, turn from your sins, because there is coming a day. That same Jesus that was crucified on the cross, he's risen. He's seated in the right, on the right hand of God in the heavens. And he's coming again. Jesus Christ, he is coming again. Whosoever now have not accepted this free invitation to have life and to have it more abundantly for the thief Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus Christ came to the world that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Do you know what life more abundantly means? It means not to fear death. It means to have peace with God. It means to have your sins forgiven. It means to know that your name is written in the last book of life and you're going to glory. Hallelujah. You don't have to die in your sins and go to hell. You don't have to die in your sins and go to hell. You don't have to die in your sins and go to hell. I bring you good news. I bring you good news. You don't have to go to hell.